Moving on. Now, I am going to explain the mindset you need to take on. If you intend to become what the Lord wants you to become, that is if you intend to become a new man created in the image and likeness of the living Word of God. In Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 3, the Apostle Paul lays out the challenge that every true believer must accept, if they intend to be transformed into the image and likeness of the living Word of God. It is a challenge pretenders will wholeheartedly reject, and will deny it even exists. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 6a, my standardized translation. Therefore, I implore you brothers, via the compassion of the living God, to present your bodies as a living holy sacrifice, well-pleasing to the living God, your logical priestly service. And do not be shaped by this current age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you approve of what the will of the living God is, which is good and well-pleasing and complete. For I tell everyone who is among you, via the favor that was given to me, to not have a more high-minded mindset than the mindset that one should have, but to have a mindset so as to have good common sense, to each one as much as the living God has divided out a measure of belief in God's promise. For even as we have many members in one body, but the members do not all have the same activity, so also we, the many, are one body in the anointed one, but each and every one members of one another, but those who have different gifts in accordance with the favor that was given to us. In that passage, the Apostle Paul lays out but two options for the believer. 1. Be shaped by this current age. 2. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Which of those two options are you, as a believer, going to choose? I say believer, because the believer has a choice. The unregenerate person has no choice simply because he has never believed the gospel message, apologized to God for his sin, and been born again. Every believer has been born again, but not every believer is a true believer, a believer who becomes what the Lord wants them to be. Those believers who have already chosen to believe otherwise, have merely chosen to believe one of Satan's most pernicious lies. Taint so. I must warn you that you can easily deceive yourself into believing one thing, when you actually believe the other, but I can also promise you this, your eternal existence is going to be determined by what you choose to believe in this case. So for the benefit of those true believers who honestly want to know the truth, I am going to explain the things you need to know about your role in the transformational process the Lord has established.